Okay, so good morning. Welcome to today's webinar, Stock Scores Training Overview, Active Trader and Investor Programs. We'll talk about the mentorship as well. Um, at the top, I'd like to just talk a little bit about some of my history in the market and one of the reasons why I, I do stuff like this, why I teach people and why I've done that for 20 years. I started trading the stock market um, late 80s, but more so early 90s. And uh, when I started, I was mostly trading the Canadian speculative markets. I didn't have a lot of money, so I traded penny stocks, basically. And back in those days, it was a lot of mining stocks and junior oil and gas stocks that I traded. And I was quite heavily involved with that. And in time, I started to get to know companies and stock promoters and uh, the people that really drove that speculative market you know a, a small mining company buys a gets a claim and tries to find gold and promotes their story and they send out emails and uh written letters out to investors and i started to get a pretty cynical view of how that whole machine worked because much of it was designed to take money from good people with I don't want to say a scam because I think these companies were all trying to, to actually do something. They were all trying to find gold or trying to find oil or what have you, but the odds were pretty low. And yet the promotion of those stories was pretty optimistic, let's say. Um, and I met my fair share of stock promoters who were, um, I, there was a book out in the day back in those days called uh, The Rampaging Bull. And, and the author referred to those people as malignant narcissists who uh, were, again, overly optimistic. It was the best way to put it, perhaps outright liars. And, uh, you know, a lot of these stocks would do well simply on the promotion of the story. Now, one of um, the participants in these webinars the last few days suggested that I watch a movie called The China Hustle, which I watched last night. That is, yeah, Wendy's here. So thank you, Wendy, for that recommendation. I watched that movie last night and it's still going on. It's not going on so much on the Canadian markets because those things were cleaned up a lot, although there's still some of it. But um, in the past few years, we've seen a lot of Chinese companies get listed through the process of what's called a reverse takeover, where they take over a shell company, a company that's listed on the NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange, but the, the actual company is no more. And so it's just a listing now. And so what they do is they take that shell and they vend in a Chinese company. It was a popular thing to do, not so much today, but a few years ago. And a lot of those stories were complete farces. Uh, because of accounting rules in China and, and more so they weren't obligated to have real audits and that sort of thing before being listed in the US markets. And so again, these stocks would do really well. They'd go from a dollar to nine dollars or two dollars to twenty dollars. I mean, some of these things did really well, but most of them, not all, but most were pretty empty in terms of their actual companies. And in that show, you know, it's kind of sad. You they they talk to some people who put money into these deals and believed the story, believed the promotion, believed the hype and got caught up and uh, lost, you know, in some cases, six figures for people that couldn't afford to lose six figure uh, amounts, $150,000, $200,000. So again, I recommend watching the movie. It's called The China Hustle. It's on Netflix. And, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been through that. That's where I cut my teeth in the stock market is those sort of promoted stocks that in many ways are, are not really fundamentally sound, certainly not worthy of their valuation. And I know how to protect myself against those things. And I want to share that with other people. And so what I'm going to be doing today is talking about my education programs. But in the past three webinars, I've showed you methods that will cut to the truth and keep you out of bad stocks. Now you may ride bad stocks up. There, I, I, no problem riding a bad stock up. If it goes up, that's great. But I also know when to sell them and to not believe in the story and not believe in the hype. And so that's a, a big part of what I teach is how to protect yourself from 
um, somewhat ruthless stock market. You know, there's a saying that the stock market is cruel. It gives the test first and the lesson afterward. And I'd like to save you from having some expensive lessons. So today we're going to talk about the different training programs that I have. And that is, I guess, one of my goals is to help people protect themselves from um, the dark side of the stock market. And certainly the dark side of the stock market is a small portion of it. And we shouldn't be too cynical about the market. The market's a very important thing. It's what funds companies. It creates jobs. It's extremely important to the global economy. And you can make money in lousy penny stocks. You can make money in A-grade blue chip stocks. But you can also lose money in A-grade blue chip stocks if they get up too high and or if you miss the opportunity. So generally speaking, the, the problems that I see in most traders who, who um, are, are sort of in early in their learning is that they buy good stocks too late. They don't sell bad stocks soon enough. And they believe in somewhat false stories. And so my methodology sort of allows us to overcome some of those things. And if you want to learn how to do that, I'll teach you. Um, but hopefully, if nothing else, today is, is a good start for you on your journey toward learning the markets. All right. So let's get into it. Um, and again, I maybe I didn't introduce myself. My name is Tyler Ballhorn, and I am the founder of StockScores.com, which I started uh, in 1999. And I started teaching in 2000 or 2001. I've been trading for a little over 30 years. I've been teaching for about 20 years. And today I'm going to sort of go through that. So the itinerary for today is I'll give you my background in the teaching side. You know, the last three webinars, which are all on the Stock Scores YouTube channel, if you missed those, you can go back there and check that out. But my, um, my background in teaching will talk about the importance of getting educated, whether it's from me or somebody else. I, I strongly urge you to learn how to do it. You know, the stock market seems easy. Uh, it is simple, but it is not easy. And you can learn a lot of expensive, hard lessons if you don't take the time to learn first. Uh, we'll show you the stock scores tools. I will give you a little tour of the online education center that we have at stock scores. And then I'll talk about the investor course, the active trader course. And I will also talk about our mentorship program, which I'm running starting November 10th. So my background in teaching trading. So I told you a little bit about some of my motivation for teaching. And I started teaching over 20 years ago. Now, another reason I started teaching was I had built the Stock Scores website. And originally, when I built that, um, our model was to use advertising to fund the website. Uh, these websites are very expensive to run because we have to buy data from the exchanges. And when you distribute data to other people, the exchanges charge you a lot of money for that. So um, the the advertising model, which is what I used for my first website, um, really didn't work. It wasn't there wasn't enough revenue from advertising to justify it. And so I turned toward teaching and really tried to keep my website more of a boutique, smaller uh, number of users, but with a much higher level of service, with much more value in terms of the information that I provided and the power of the tools that I I have. So. Uh, teaching in the in the early years was funding the build and the data of the website, which was the tool that I was also using to identify trading opportunities. I think I talked about that in one of the other webinars I did this past week. So who do I teach? Um, I, I teach a broad range of students. Today, most of my students are retail investors, people who you know want to manage their own retirement portfolio people that have aspirations of being professional traders, making a living from home, trading the stock market. I have over the years taught uh, professionals, uh, brokerage houses have hired me to come in and teach their staff and institutions. Some of the biggest uh, money managers here in Canada have hired me to teach their money managers, my methods. Um, I've, I, uh, I have done partnerships with big brokerage houses and had uh, where they, you know, paid me for many years to teach their their clients. Uh, Desjardins being a good example for seven years, I traveled across Canada 
teaching the clients of that brokerage house. And prior to that, I did that with uh, TD Bank or TD Green Line here in Canada, TD Ameritrade in the US. I you know, would do a talk to their clients, sometimes a thousand people in a big hotel conference room. That's you know, uh, some of the teaching that I've done. Again, today I, I do less of that. I really don't do that at all actually. Now I pretty much just do webinars like this, teach from home, uh, sort of teach a small number of students every year, maybe a hundred. And that's, that's really all that I wanna do. I don't have aspirations of running chat rooms with a thousand people in them or teaching mega amounts of people because my primary goal is to, to trade, but I do enjoy helping people and I do enjoy teaching. I think I'm, I'm good at it and I've got a lot of experience that I think I can share with people. So why would you want to get educated? Well, as I said at the top, stock trading and investing, they're simple, but they're not easy. And the market will teach you what you need to know eventually. I learned the hard way. I spent about eight years learning the hard way uh, by teaching myself and I paid a lot of expensive lessons. I one time went broke um, early in my trading career and had to then start over. And those lessons, you know, are very valuable today because I don't make those mistakes anymore, but I had to learn them the hard way. And, you know, I can speed up your process in learning and make it less expensive by teaching you some of the things that I've learned, again, the hard way. I sometimes like to say that I'm an expert in mistakes because I've done this for 30 years and I, I've made every mistake and I still make mistakes, but I'm pretty aware of my mistakes now and, and usually can catch myself. The other thing is that when you're learning to trade, even if you've been doing it for 15, 20 years, there's always going to be some little things that I can do to help you be a better investor or a better trader. And having someone to ask questions of, you know, I answer questions via email for all of my students, whether you took my course 20 years ago or yesterday, um, I spent a good part of my day answering email from my students and I enjoy doing that. And um, I think that lends to the confidence that is so important to making good decisions in the market. So the support that I provide my students through the learning process really helps you become successful. When I started trading, there were no courses, there were very few books. Um, I certainly didn't have a mentor to, to sound ideas off of. I was more or less on my own, struggling to figure it out. And um, yeah, eventually I figured it out, but I probably could have done it a lot quicker if I had had someone to teach me what they knew. And uh, so hopefully that's something that, that you have an interest in. Uh, now is a great time to be a trader. You know, for up until COVID, it was still a decent time to be a stock trader, but it was certainly more difficult because the market was much less volatile. We were kind of on a 10 year cycle of diminishing price volatility. And there's some reasons for that. I talked about that when I was on Michael Campbell's radio show uh, last weekend, and I'll just quickly summarize them again. And that is with the rise of exchange traded funds, more and more investors because of demographics were moving away from stock speculation where they were trying to make you know, strong returns in the market. And they were moving toward capital preservation. You know, baby boomers, which were a large block of investment capital in the market, had through my early years as a trader, 80s, 90s, were really speculating on stocks. And it drove the action that I, you know, made a lot of money from in the first, say, say decade of my trading career. And with the rise of exchange traded funds and as those baby boomers approached retirement, they started to look to just preserve their capital. They didn't try to you know, buy those junior mining stocks and double their money in a month. They were now more interested in preserving that capital and taking a lot less risk and exchange traded funds presented that. Well, the way trade exchange traded funds work is you're buying a batch of stocks and there's computers that are, are doing what's called arbitrage, where they are buying all the individual stocks in the batch and then buying the batch or selling the batch and taking the spread. That's called, you know, uh, arbitrage where there's really no risk. And so these computers are doing that and it starts to really compress the volatility in the market because now it's a, it's a state where the 
tail is wagging the dog. Instead of stocks affecting the ETFs, the ETFs are affecting the stocks. And they're doing so by really bringing down price volatility. So that was kind of a, a thing that started diminishing volatility. And then you really had a rise of uh, computerized trading. You've heard of high frequency trading, and you've probably heard of algorithmic trading. They're two similar things. High frequency trading is making, you know, thousands of trades a day, sometimes in the course of milliseconds to just squeeze little bits of profit out of the market. These are done by very powerful computers that are co-located with the stock exchange computers, very fast communication systems, really doing it on time and, and competing on time. That, that game has become a little bit stagnant because you can't go faster than the speed of light. And these high frequency traders essentially got to the speed of light in terms of executing trades um, using fiber optics uh, with computers that are literally right in the same building as the NASDAQ's computers and the New York Stock Exchange computers and doing lightning fast trading to take advantage of price differences. So anyway, that game, again, took down some volatility. And then you have um, algorithmic trading companies, uh, companies like Renaissance and uh, Ken Griffin Citadel, who again are using very powerful computers to mostly do something called mean reversion. Mean reversion means if a stock goes up too fast, the computers short the stock. If it goes down too fast, the computers buy the stock. And they try to essentially have the price volatility fit a much narrower range through this, but through taking advantage of human emotion. And that became a game that again, diminished price volatility. So leading up into COVID, you just, you, you really had a lot less volatility. You had to really work hard to find alpha. And we could still find it by looking at the stocks that didn't really get dominated by that computerized trading, that the smaller cap market was where you had to focus. But then COVID comes along and all of a sudden you get this immense amount of volatility again because of uncertainty. And the second factor is that you have all of a sudden a lot of people who can't work their normal job are sitting at home, maybe doing their job remotely. And there is again, this heightened interest in trading the stock market. And in the course of just a couple of months, millions of new brokerage accounts have been opened around the world by people who decide that they want to be day traders or swing traders or short-term investors. Now, those people don't have a whole lot of experience, a lot of knowledge. They are in some ways gamblers coming in. They, you know, maybe read a book or two log into some chat rooms. And from say March until June, many of those traders did well because the market had such a strong upward trend. Now, a lot of those people are giving back those profits. Those profits were short-term loans because they really don't know what, what they're doing. You know, they know how to click on the buy button on their brokerage account. They know how to click on the sell button. And, uh, and with everything going up for a number of months, it was kind of hard not to make money. So now we're in a situation where we still have lots of volatility. We still have lots of emotional rookie traders in the market. And that's why I say it's a good time to be a trader. Prior to COVID, um, you know, the, in the typical week, I would have two or three stocks that made what I call rocket gains, where they, they, earn a reward for risk of more than 10. And now we have that same number every day. On Friday, there was three or four that made these high reward for risk gains, both on the buy side and also on the short side. So, and that's typical of every day right now. So there's always lots of opportunity. However, you do have to know how to filter through all the noise. You do have to have the tools to filter through all the noise. It is not as easy as it was two months ago, but the opportunities are still there if you know what to look for. And that's what I do as a teacher is I can teach you what I look for. And, and again, that's, you know, based on 30 years of experience. So what do you need for success? Well, you need knowledge. You need to know what to look for. And I can do that for you 
with my stock scores education center. Well, we're going to show these things as I go through today. You also need tools to find them in a timely way. It doesn't do you a lot of service if, if you find that hot stock half an hour after, after I do, because the stock will have already gone up a lot. And so I've created tools for that. For the longer term trader, we have the market scan tool, which I'll show you today. Uh, for the short term trader, we have Active Live. And in Active Live, I'm using some software called TradeStation with some indicators that I um, make available to my active trader students. So I've built some very sophisticated tools, tools that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to build and, and thousands of hours of time over the years. And I make that available to my students. And again, when you buy my courses, in many ways, you're subsidizing those tools and the data that is required to run them. What you also need, I think, is support, because while you're learning, it is, I think, sometimes nice to have someone who has the experience to give you some feedback. And so if you send me a couple of your trades as one of my students and say, you know, I bought these three stocks and I lost on these two, I can usually tell what's wrong with you psychologically. And I say that tongue in cheek because really it's what's normal about you. Normal human beings are predisposed to fail in the stock market. I'll say that again. Normal human beings are predisposed to fail in the stock market because normal human beings are emotional. They have an emotional attachment to money and that emotional attachment to money causes them to make very common mistakes. Trading with the fear of missing out, uh, trading with the fear of losing money, letting greed get the better of them. All of these psychological normal things um, really affect you negatively as a trader. And so having uh, my experience, I think, to support you while you are learning, and even once you are learned uh, and, and really know what you're doing, I think is invaluable. What you have to bring to the equation is obviously some capital to trade with, although I always tell people you should start with zero dollars of capital. When you start trading, you should be practicing, you should be trading on paper and taking my lessons and applying them and gaining experience for a little while until you can show that you are successful on paper. And then I don't care if you have $10 million or $10,000 or $1,000, start slow with your real capital. You also need to have discipline. You need to have the discipline to do the work, to follow the rules. I can tell you what the rules are, and I can tell you all the good reasons why those rules exist. But if you don't have discipline, then you won't get the freedom that comes from trading in the stock market. And that's really what attracts me to trading in the stock market is freedom. As I said uh, in one other presentation this past week, I have the freedom to live anywhere as long as I can plug into a wall with the internet. And I've uh, had the good fortune of living in Maui and living in my favorite place in the world, Whistler, British Columbia. I live in a beautiful place now where really there wouldn't be a job for me if, if I was in the financial industry, but I can live here and trade from here um, in what's Canada's wine country and, and great mountain biking area and a beautiful lake and all this uh, great lifestyle. Um, and that's only because of trading. And that's, I think, what, what discipline and hard work to learn this game can give you. All right, so let's talk about the Stock Scores Education Center. I'm gonna give you a little tour of it as well. So there's uh, basically, three main areas. There's the foundation area, which is where you learn theory. There is the investor area where you learn longer term trading strategies. And there's the active trader area where you learn short term trading strategies. So let's jump over to stockscores.com. This is an area that for the most part, you have to be a member to use. So if I go into education center here, click on that. If you're not a member, uh, you can watch the Getting Started videos. There's a series here of maybe 10 or 12 videos that I've created on some of the basics around trading and some of the basics of the Stock Scores website. And I encourage you to take a look at some of those things if you're new to trading or investing. But farther down, we have these areas that expand. So if I click on this little plus sign, you can see the list of all of the theory um, lessons that I've created. And within each lesson, there is a le uh, written part. So I can click on this little file folder and here is the written part for that lesson. And then I can click on the little camera icon 
and watch a video where I teach the lesson. In this particular case, I think it's a maybe a 45 minute video, no, 30 minute video on the uh, basics of chart pattern reading, kind of the stuff that we went over on our first webinar last Saturday. And then we have um, a assignment on this particular lesson, and I'm just getting you to, to practice what I've taught. And then there's a little quiz where you can see if you understood the concepts. And if you don't get a good score on the quiz, then you probably should go back and go through the material again. So it's a very in-depth online training. You can do it from your cell phone, your iPad, your computer, whatever. It's all, as long as you have a, a connection to the internet, you're ready to go. All right. So that is the foundation area. And you can see that, again, there are uh, many different lessons and you can go in here later today and you can see the, the titles of everything. Obviously, without being a member, you won't be able to get into the actual content. You have to take one of the courses to do that, um, but you're welcome to go look at the titles. Now, then we have the investor section where I have my strategies really for people that want to spend, say, 15 days or 15 minutes a day or with some strategies, 15 minutes a week on managing your retirement portfolio, managing your stock portfolio, but not being a day trader, not being a swing trader. That's what this is all about. So if I'm looking for stocks to hold for the next couple of months, I like to run the abnormal break strategy, the stock score simple daily, the bottom fishing in some market conditions, not in the current market condition, but some, the stock scores action break strategy, which is was great was a great strategy coming out of the crash uh, that we had uh, in February and March. And then for the longer term person that maybe only wants to buy 10 stocks a year and only wants to spend 15 minutes to 30 minutes on the weekend managing their portfolio because they've got a life, they want to golf and travel or what have you, then the stock score simple weekly or the ETF strategy would be more appropriate. And again, with these strategies, you have a written lesson. So I can click on this and it goes through the basic concept of that strategy. And again, there's a video where I teach the rules for when to buy, when to sell, how to manage risk and the process to find it. So in this case, this particular video is 18 minutes long. And there you can see the basics of that strategy. Okay. So I'm going to go, you can probably hear my voice coming through the computer there. So that's the education center. And then of course, for the day trader or the swing trader, for that person who aspires to trade for a living or at least a part-time living, um, these are the strategies for that person. Now, the one great thing about day trading is that you don't have to do it every day. Uh, someone asked me the other day, how much you know commitment of time do you have to have for this? I have a lot of my students who, with their work schedule or what have you, can maybe trade two days a week. Uh, perhaps they work shift work or something like that. You know, for example, a fireman. I have uh, a few firemen who work four days on and then have four days off. And so they can cycle where they've got a couple days a week that they can trade the stock market. You don't have to be full time. I also have many students who make a living trading the stock market after they took my course. They now have that lifestyle where they work from home and they're in my active live every day and they've been there for years in some cases, um, trading using my tools and I will show you my tools today as well. So there's different strategies here. Uh, the stock score simple swing strategy is one that you would typically apply. You can apply it all day, but typically in the opening hour and it's a swing trading strategy, which means you're gonna hold the positions for usually somewhere between two days and two weeks with that strategy. And most of the entry signals come in the first hour. So for someone who has to, you know, go to work or drive their kids to school or whatever uh, you do, um, that is a strategy for someone who could be kind of a part-time trader and maybe monitor their positions from a cell phone. There's great tools out there where you can monitor your holdings from a cell phone. Typically brokers uh, will provide that to their clients. Then we have the day trader strategy, which is something you can do all day long. Uh, again, most of the entry signals come in the opening hour, but there are signals that come all day long. And that's more intended for the full-time person. But again, full-time meaning they're there all day, but they don't have to do it every day. Because with this strategy, we typically exit our positions 
before the market closes. And so each night you are sleeping on cash and you don't take the risk of the potential for a big overnight drop in the market, which doesn't happen often, but it does happen. Then we've got the intraday pullback strategy, again, a day trading strategy. Don't do that one so much, although um, with some of the volatility in these uh, lower price stocks, it is something that does work well. The stock scores wave is a relatively new strategy. It's actually an old strategy that I did say five years ago, but when the volatility really started to, to diminish, I stopped doing it. Well, now we've got volatility again. And so I've reignited this strategy. I brought it back and I made a few changes to it to make it better. And it's a strategy that I really like to do because it's a strategy that focuses on trading highly, highly liquid stocks, stocks that trade 100,000 times a day or more. And you can take big positions in these securities, a uh, stock like Tesla, for example, where you know in Tesla, you can buy $5 million worth of Tesla in two seconds. It doesn't move the market because the stock is so actively traded. Companies like Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft. And then every day there's a handful of stocks that you've never heard of that just become very, very liquid again. Um, you know, one day this week there was um, IVK or something uh, and so on. So as we go through this, we will continue to uh, trade that. The superhero strategy is uh, another day trading strategy. Again, one that I didn't do a whole lot back uh, the last few years because volatility diminished, but it's working well again. And then there's a couple of videos on how to use TradeStation, which I uh, do as well. Uh, and, and not everyone needs to use TradeStation. It's something that I think is a great tool, but I've created some tools for those that don't want to have to learn how to use TradeStation because it is um, uh, maybe a little bit intimidating for someone that's not great with a computer because it's a fairly sophisticated platform. All right, so that's a tour of the education center. Let's go into the tools now. So on stockscores.com, we've got a number of different tools. The primary one that we're gonna use most of the time is the market scan. Now I showed this tool when we were doing our investor session on Tuesday last week, but we'll give it a quick little show again. So I go into the market scan tool and um, I can select a preset scan. So remember when we were in the education center, we had, um, strategies. And so, for example, one was the abnormal break strategy. So that's where you learn the rules for when to buy, when to sell, how to manage risk, etc. Here, we can go into the abnormal breaks scan. So I can run that scan on the Can uh, Canadian or US market. So let's run it on the US market and just click on this run market scan here. Now there's, I don't know, 7,000 stocks listed on the US market. And in the blink of an eye, it found the 42 that meet the requirements of this strategy. With that said, most of these stocks will not be uh, good enough. We still need to look at their charts for the patterns that I teach you to look for. And so I can view them in a gallery view, which gives you 10 charts per page, or I can view them in the slideshow, which gives you one chart per page. So we'll just go into the slideshow, click on go, and now I can see stocks that are breaking with abnormal behavior. So here's an example of a stock that's, this is a real penny stock. Now, I personally wouldn't trade this kind of stock, but some people like these. Um, huge volume spike, good price action. So there's a stock that's come alive with some abnormal behavior. And as I go through these, you will see consistently they have abnormal behavior. But what is key is that we want stocks to have abnormal behavior from a good chart pattern. Now, this particular stock is in a downward trend and it's just risen up to the, to the trend line. So this isn't really what I like. It's okay, it's making a double bottom, which technically uh, from a chart analysis perspective is pretty good, but um, it's still not quite ideal because there's not a lot of optimism here. Moving along, uh, CREX, you can see a little bit of abnormal price action. Uh, but this is going to run into some resistance here. It hasn't really broken out yet. It's a stock that I would keep an eye on, but I don't think it's good enough. And so what I teach you is what to evaluate in these charts. This one looks pretty good. Here's a stock that was in a downward trend after having a really nice run um, earlier in the year. 
And then it broke the downward trend line here, and it's since built a rising bottom, and it's now breaking out through resistance from a rising bottom. That is what I call a bottom fishing pattern. It breaks through resistance from a rising bottom after breaking a downward trend line. Now, it's not perfect. Let me tell you why it's not perfect. One of the things we always like to think about is where will it get stuck? And stocks tend to stall at past high points. We call those inflection points. So anywhere the stock has sort of stopped going up and started going down in the past will be an inflection point. And in this case, it has an inflection point uh, right here at $2, and that's going to limit its upside to less than two to one. And what I mean by that is if I'm, enter, if I'm entering here and support is here, that's my risk, all right? We talked about this in a couple of the presentations last week. That's the risk. The reward potential up to the first level is right here. This is, we call that R1, the first level of reward. It's going to get stuck here, perhaps. It will probably be able to get through that one and then get up to there, but this reward level is less than two times what this risk level is. And I always want trades where my reward potential is at least double my risk potential. Because I know that I'm not going to be right all of the time. This may not work out. I may get stopped out on this trade. And if I do, yeah, I take the loss. But I want to know that if the trade works, I can at least make double the risk amount. And so double the risk amount would be up here to about $3. That's not bad. Uh, given that it most likely won't get stuck until there. But I still think it, it has enough limit on the reward that I wouldn't give it a, a 7 out of 10 rating. And I talked about ratings again, I think on, on Wednesday's presentation or Thursday. What day did it? Wednesday. No, Thursday. Ah, I don't remember. Anyway, the, the webinar that I did on day trading, um, that was a, an important point. In this case, I would give this a six and a half out of 10, which means I think it has a 65% chance of going up. All right, so that's the process, is once you know what to look for, you just cycle through charts. This one's not great because it closed below its open on Friday. That's a negative signal. This one also closed below its open. That's why that candle is red. It, I'll just explain this to you. It opened, whoops, I'm gonna try that again. It opened here and closed here, that's why it's red. Just like on this day, it opened here and closed there. On a green day, it opened at the bottom and closed higher. And that's a measure of short-term supply. Basically through the day, the sellers were pushing the stock lower and that's not a great signal. All right, so that's the um, market scan in the slideshow view. We can also do what's called gallery. So I can run the Canadian scan, for example. So Abnormal Breaks Canada and go like this and go to gallery. And this is a quicker way. Once you know what to look for, you can run through them a little faster in these little mini charts. If I, if I think a chart has potential, I can click on it, blow it up a little larger. I mean, this particular chart looks pretty good, but not great. The volume isn't real strong. So one of the things we like to see is strong volume. It is breaking through resistance. Again, if you want to know a little bit more about some of the ways that we evaluate charts, go back to the webinars that I did earlier this week, because that's really where we talked on about the theory and the and the methodology more so. All right, so that is the tool that is uh, the market scan. Now we also use something called TradeStation for the day traders. And I showed TradeStation in the day trading webinar on uh, uh, earlier this week. And TradeStation is a program that has nothing to do with me. I just have written my own indicators for it. So the indicators that I've written are something called an action candle. And an action candle is a price bar. So we typically look at them on a two minute bar or on a 13 minute bar. And an action candle allows you to find those stocks that all of a sudden have a spike in volume with a spike of abnormal activity. Now, believe it or not, we look for that on a two minute interval. And with TradeStation, I can monitor the entire stock market looking for stocks that meet my rules looking for these stocks that all of a sudden out of nowhere start to get some volume coming into them. And the reason that's important is because that spike in volume and trading activity is often caused by um, some new information coming into the market, perhaps a large investment fund taking a large position, and we can ride their coattails. 
And so again, in the day trading webinar that I did earlier this week, I showed you a number of examples of how these stocks come alive out of nowhere and they go for big runs. They can move 30% in an hour, 50% in an hour. In fact, I've had stocks in the last month that have moved over 100% in a single day following one of these action candles. And action candles are something that we use in TradeStation. But again, not everybody wants to learn how to use the software. I've been using it for 15 years. I absolutely love it. But it is you know, something that takes some time to learn. And I always tell my students, you're going to have to struggle with it for a couple of weeks to learn it because it's very sophisticated. It does a lot and it takes time to learn. Now, again, I teach people how to use the software, no problem. But if you are not, you know, really into learning computer software, then you may not want to. And so for that reason, I created what's called Active Live, which is a service where you can let me run my computers and find the action candles in real time and you just monitor it. So we'll talk about Active Live in a moment, but the Active Live service allows you to do that. All right. So I want to quickly now go into what the different course options are. I've had a couple of people asking questions about how do you become a member? So here it is. If you want to use the market scan tool to scan for longer term trades, things where you're going to hold the stock for more than two weeks, probably more like a couple of months or more, a couple of years even potentially, then the investor course is the one that you want to do. It will give you access to the education in the foundation area and in the investor area of stock scores. It will also give you access to the investor strategies on the market scan. So if we jump back to the market scan tool and you can see here that it's broken down by scans. So there are investor scans right here, and these are all the scans that you will have access to. And then you have the abnormal, or sorry, the active trader scans. That's for active trader students, which I'll talk about in a moment. As my student, you'll have email support from me through the, the as well, really as long as you're a, a member of Stock Scores, could be 15 years from now, I'll still be answering your questions. And I really have, I've been teaching people for 20 years, and I still have some of my students from that long ago. They don't ask me many questions anymore because they kind of know what they're doing by now, but they could. If, if you are a student from any time in the past and you have the need to ask me some questions about trading, uh, the only thing I don't do is I can't tell you when to buy and when to sell. I'm not an investment advisor. I'm a teacher and I can tell you if a stock meets the rules, but you have to ultimately decide if that trade is right for you, whether it fits with your risk tolerances, that sort of thing. Now with the investor course, you also get six months access to the market scan tool, to the other member only tools at stock scores. We have a risk calculator that helps us size our positions, charting tools, that sort of thing. Uh, so you get six months access to that with the course. And then after that, you can renew for $300 per year. And that $300 per year really just funds the, the data fees that we pay. Um, it costs about $6,000 a month for data. And so we need to have those uh, annual fees to just basically keep providing the data to our members. Now, the process, if you want to be an investor, is each day or each week uh, or whenever you choose to do it, you don't have to do it every day, I suppose, is you run your market scan. So we did that. You inspect the charts for the right pattern. I showed you that. Once you find something that meets the rules, you run your risk management to determine your position size. Position size is based on the risk of the trade, but also your risk tolerance. So if you're willing to lose $100 on a trade and the stock has a dollar of risk down to where you would put your stop loss point, then you would buy 100 shares. Uh, once you do your risk management and figure out your position size, you enter the trade and then you monitor it. We have uh, tools on stock scores for creating watch lists. So if I go into the charting area here, I can go to the watch list creator uh, and you can build a watch list. And then once you've built one, you can monitor it here. You can also look at the charts from the watch list. You can build portfolios where you actually enter in how many shares you bought. Um, and, and some of these tools are free to use, by the way. You can use the watch list creator and the portfolio creator for free. You cannot use the market scan. You cannot use the risk calculator unless you are a member of stock scores. And of course, taking the investor course or the active trader course makes you a member. 
All right, I'll quickly show you the risk calculator. So this is where we can figure out how to size our positions. And so let's say we're buying a stock at $10 and our stop loss price is at $9 and we're going to risk um, $500 on a trade and our commissions are $10. It's not very complex math in this scenario, but we would buy 490 shares. Then over here, we can, after the trade, calculate our reward for risk ratio. So I can say, all right, we bought 490 shares. We bought those at $10. We sold them at $14.20. And our stop loss price was $9. And we paid $10 in commissions. Click on submit. And it tells us the reward for risk ratio that we earned was 4.2 for a $2,048 profit. All right, so that's another handy tool um, for before the trade for sizing your position, but also after the trade for doing the analysis that we like to run to understand our performance metrics. All right, and then that's part of the journaling process. So when we're doing our journaling, I like you to put in, you know, those statistics and track them even in a spreadsheet. And if you're having some trouble with your trading, you send me some of your trades with those metrics and I can usually uh, figure out maybe what you're doing wrong. And that's, you know, part of the service that I provide to my students. I can do that because I don't teach a lot of people. Now, the Active Trader course includes all of that stuff. So it includes the foundation area, the investor strategies, but then you add to it the Active Trader strategies. You get access to the investor market scans, but also the Active Trader market scans. You still get email support from me. But the real bonus is access to my real-time indicators for TradeStation if you want to use them. Um, I've spent, I, I would guess, $10,000 having those indicators programmed. You get them included with the course. We also have some extra indicators and, and strategy um, tools that are available in the Active Live service. And I'm going to show Active Live in just a moment, but only only my active trader students are eligible to subscribe to active live i don't want a lot of people using active live so you must first be an active trader course participant and then you can subscribe to active live let's talk about the active trader process so the first step in our day is we assess the market factor is the market more likely to go higher than lower or lower than higher today and uh, I do that in my active live service in the five minutes before the market opens. I give my expectations for how the day will go and we trade accordingly. Most days we are buyers. Some days we focus on short selling. But most days we are buyers because in general, most days there are always going to be some stocks that go up. When you're in a crash situation and you've got... Um, um, you know, a sharp sell off in the overall market. Obviously those are the days when we wanna be short sellers. They're very lucrative. I love market crashes. It's the fastest way to make money in the market. Market crashes don't happen that often, but when they do, extremely lucrative. So once uh, we've assessed the market factor, then we monitor uh, the market for action candles. Action candles, again, are price bars, whether it's a two minute or a 13 minute candle on a chart that has abnormal price and abnormal volume. And I showed you those in the day trader webinar last week. Active Live finds every one of those for you and you just monitor it and then you check the chart when one appears. And in some days we'll get 300 of them. There's, there's lots of them every day. Uh, we inspect the chart once we see an action candle. And again, we run our risk management. We size our positions. You have to do that thinking a little quicker when you're an active trader. You know, when you're an investor, you can think about it for an hour. When you're a day trader, you've got to, to figure out your position size within a few seconds in some cases. And, uh, and so you have to be a little bit better at doing the, the quick math in your head or have a calculator handy to figure out your position size. We then enter the position, monitor the position through the day for an exit signal. When we get an exit signal, we exit. And then it's a good idea at the end of the day to journal or, or put your trades into a spreadsheet to monitor the performance so that you can see areas for improvement over time. Now, let's talk quickly about Active Live. This is a service that I started providing a few years ago, and it was mostly because I've got probably more powerful computers than most people have. And I also have some experience and I've got some algorithms that are very sophisticated. 
And so it's a really a great tool to help people um, learn or, or get the signals quicker uh, with the power of my tools. And what it, what it really does is it means you don't have to go out and spend $10,000 on computers like I have. You don't have to spend all, all the money that I've spent on having TradeStation programmed the way I have. You can pay $195 a month to monitor or watch the same analysis screen that I watch as a trader. So I've got, some of you've probably watched my videos on YouTube. I've got a lot of screens on my desk. And one of those screens in particular is displaying my action candles. I'm gonna show you that screen in just a moment. It's real time, it's a live webinar that you log into every day, all day long, and you're just watching the screen that I watch. And you're getting a very automated process, instant trade signals, real time. Me and more appropriately, my computers are doing the work to find the trade so you can focus on making those trades. But again, Active Live is only available to Active Trader members. Now here's how the screen looks. So it's a, uh, this is one uh, HD size screen in TradeStation. And each one of these windows displays action candles on different intervals. So this window here is displaying 13 minute action candles. So this is for our swing trades. This one is displaying two minute action candles for day trader buys. And again, remember I said that there was three or four stocks on Friday that made, you know, double digit return or reward for risk ratios. These were the four right here. I, maybe that wasn't Friday. I think, I, no, this was a couple of days ago. I think that was Wednesday. Anyway, you know, there's some really big gainers, but there's lots of gainers. There was lots of green that particular day. And then these are the shorts, stocks that we're looking at for shorts. And again, two minute action candles. This is the wave screen where we're looking for those really liquid stocks making a, what we call a wave strategy entry signal. What is a wave? Well, you have to take my course and then I'll teach you the rules. What is my day trader strategy? Again, these are all things that I teach. I don't want thousands of people to know the rules. So I make people uh, take my courses if you wanna learn them. And again, I only teach a hundred people a year because I, I don't want lots of people to do it. I'm a one man operation in terms of the teaching side. I, I mean, I have staff that keep my website running and, and keep the data going and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of the actual trading and teaching of trading and, and commenting through the uh, active live service, that's always from me. I've got the experience and uh, I think I can be the one who delivers uh, the best service to you. All right, now one other option that we have available right now for those of you that want to learn how to do this is the mentorship program. So this is taking you through the learning process one week at a time, hand-holding, if you will, uh, with 14 one-hour classes. And they're taught by me live. Uh, most of them are taught at 6 p.m. Pacific time on Tuesdays, starting November 10th. So November 10th from six till seven, we will do our first lesson. And uh, every week we'll do another one. We take two or three weeks off over the Christmas break um, because so many people are traveling. I often go to Hawaii at that time, although I don't know if I'll be able to this year, but I'd like to, um, but that's the process. So we go from November 10th until I think February 9th or something like that. I can't remember the end, but it's early in February. And then one particular week, we actually do three classes because one particular week we focus on um, applying the day trading strategy. And so we have a couple of sessions right after the market closes where we go through all of the trades of the day. And I just walk you through why this one was good, why this one wasn't so good and more hands-on learning from, from those particular trading days. So in this mentorship program, I'm walking you through the strategies, the processes, how to preserve capital, how to read charts, how to get over your emotions, just really everything that is involved in trading. With the mentorship, you also get two months of my active live service included. Uh, with the active trader course, you get one month. If you do the mentorship, you get a total of two months. And so again, that's $195 for each month. So that's an extra $390 value there uh, for those that really aspire to make a living from trading the stock market. Now, because it's very uh, personalized service, the um, course, uh, the mentorship course is limited to 20 students. And I say there are eight spots remain. That's not correct. It's now four. We've had a few people sign up since uh, Wednesday. 
So we now have four spots remaining for the mentorship course. All right, pricing. We're gonna talk about that in just a moment. I just wanna summarize the other bonus that we have that's coming this November. So I do this twice a year where I do some live training to complement the online training. So for two nights, uh, starting November 3rd, I will do a one and a half hour class each night where I will take you through the uh, foundation theory. So on Tuesday, November 3rd, we'll do an hour and a half going through the important theory concepts. Then we'll resume that Thursday for another hour and a half. Then the following week, we're gonna apply the investor strategies. So we're gonna do market scans, just like you will eventually do on your own. I'm gonna do it with you, showing you the process in stock scores, doing the market scans. We do that Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, again, six till seven. Um, and it's just application. It's a great way to learn by seeing me actually do the process. Now, for those that choose to do the Active Trader course, you also get a free month of Active Live, which you can use any month. So if you want to use it in November, you're welcome to do that. If you want to wait until February next year, you can do it then. It's up to you when you use it, but you do get that free month. With the mentorship, you get two free months. So there's an extra bonus month in there. And of course, in Active Live, we're building our watch list. We're reviewing trades from the previous day. I teach something every day. I talk for the opening half an hour to guide you through that busiest time of the day. And then at the end of the day, we review the day. We talk about some of the trades. I answer your questions. Most days I teach a little lesson, a couple days a week, I actually do a video that you get where it explains an important lesson. So it's really hands-on training. And this is every day of the month, for months. You know, if you uh, wanna continue learning every single day, I guarantee you will learn something every day in Active Live. So the special offer that we have right now is for anyone that registers for the investor or the Active Trader course, before Friday, October 30th at 11 p.m., we'll receive the overview class and those strategy application series for free. In addition, for those who do the Active Trader class, you'll also get that free month of Active Live. And then for mentorship, you'll get another free month of Active Live. All right. And so that's for anyone that registers before October 30th. Pricing these prices are all in Canadian dollars. The investor course is $2,495. As Canadian, the Active Trader course is three thousand four ninety five. It includes the investor, and then the mentorship. Pardon me, is five thousand four ninety five. It includes the Active Trader and the investor. Now, I know many of you may have taken my classes before, and you want to upgrade. So, if you want to move from the investor to the Active Trader course, you can do that. It's twelve hundred and fifty dollar upgrade fee. If you want to upgrade from active to mentorship, it is $2,000. But again, we only have four spots left for the mentorship. I expect it will fill up in the next day or two. Uh, well, we'll see anyway. All right, it always fills up. So last time I taught 15, this time I'm increasing the number to 20. And uh, But once we hit 20, we just have to cut it off because I, I want to be able to deliver a fairly personalized service for those uh, people. Now, how do you register? I will show you that in just a moment. We'll jump over to stock scores and I'll show you how to register. But the next thing I wanna do is just um, run a poll here. I don't like to bug people with marketing, uh, with emails and that sort of thing. So if you would like a, whoops, if you would like a email with a follow-up, uh, a little more information on the different courses, then please say yes to one of the options. If you don't want me to bug you, then I will not bug you. You just say no. So I'll leave that up for, uh, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. And then we will just walk through where you sign up on the Stock Scores website. It's all automated. So if you sign up, you know, now you'll be, you'll have immediate access. It uh, doesn't take any time. You'll get an email right away and your account will be set up immediately. Now, one thing you do have to do is you, if you sign up, Immediately, you do have to log out and then back in again for the system to recognize that now you have access to the investor material or the active trader material, whichever class you register for. All right, so leave this poll up for a little bit longer and then I'm going to um, show you where to register. I'm just going to get that set up here. Okay, so I'm going to take the poll down and thanks for everyone that that um, answered, 
close this off. All right, so here is the Stock Scores website. If you go to Trader Training, learn how to trade. Here is the page with lots of information on the different courses. Here is where you order the Active Trader course. 3,495 is the cost of the course. If you wanna buy it, you just click on this and fill this out. It won't let me because I'm already a member of Stock Scores, but this is where you buy it. And as I said, once you do that, you'll have immediate access. If you wanted to do the investor course, you just go a little farther down the page. There's also a little video here expanding on what I talked about tonight or this, this morning, I guess, sorry, not tonight. So here's the investor sign up. You can order the investor course right there. Pricing $24.95 Canadian. Um, taxes are applicable to Canadian residents, but if you're outside of Canada, I know we have people from all over the world here, um, you don't pay the Canadian taxes, obviously. All right, if you want to upgrade, let's say you are an investor student and you want to upgrade to Active Trader, go to the Education Center and go to, let's say, Active Trader. And here it says for me purchase, but if you haven't purchased that, you will have a link right here that allows you to upgrade. And it'll just show that it's a $1,250 upgrade. You do need to be logged in first, so make sure you do that. All right. So why would you want to take one of these courses or have me teach you? Mistakes will cost you time and money. And I guarantee you that it will cost you more than the fee in my course um, to learn how to trade if you want to do it on your own. As I said, it took me eight years to figure it out and I lost $30,000 in the process before I became good at it. Um, but eventually I got good at it. It just took a long time. 30 years of me trading means I'm really an expert on overcoming the many hurdles that all traders face. And I've taught a lot of people over the years. I've been teaching for 20 years. And so I just know what, what hurdles people face, the difficulties, the challenges, and I can help you get over those quicker. I don't teach a lot of people. A small number of students I mean I'm teaching a relatively small number of people. I've been doing this for 20 years teaching, and I think that I can help you achieve your goals in the market, whether you just want to Get more out of your retirement, you know, an extra 1% annual return in your retirement portfolio has a huge influence over your lifetime. And I think I can help you do much better than that even. Uh, trading to me is freedom. And if you want to find your freedom with trading, then I can help you get there. My goal is to make trading easy and prosperous for you. But ultimately, you should remember that no one cares more about your money than you. You need to take charge, have the knowledge, have the tools to do it well rather than trusting other people take charge so that you can be in control of your financial future. I know a lot about what I'm doing in the trading market and hopefully from the webinars I've done this past week where I've taught you some things about how trading works, hopefully you've seen that that I, I speak from a place of experience. You know, I didn't start doing this yesterday. I, I've done it a long time and I think you will learn how to be a better trader faster. Ultimately, it's about avoiding the pain of, of making mistakes and pursuing the profit that comes with trading success. So again, to register for this course, uh, you just go to uh, stockscores.com slash learn or, um, I'm just gonna correct the date here. I did this the other day too. The deadline uh, is October 30th for that bonus live training. So if you want the extra live classes that are coming up, uh, please register before October 30th. I welcome your questions. If you have any, there's my email address, tylerb at stockscores.com. I'll try to answer a few today as well. And um, someone just saying, I now have three mentorship positions available because they've just registered. So there you go. It's like I said, it'll probably fill up fairly quickly for the mentorship. If you want to do the mentorship, it's a two-step process. You have to first buy the active trader course, and then you have to, I should show this actually. So you first have to buy the active trader course, which you do from this page. So go to trader training, um, learn how to trade. So you buy the active trader course here, log out, log out of the website, log back in. Now the system will recognize you as an active trader student. Then you go to trader training, upcoming events, and just scroll down the screen. And there you can see active trader mentorship. It requires that you are an active trader member. The fee is $2,000 once you are an active trader member. And so there you just click on register online and it will um, just take you through the process there. Okay, so um, 
it's all there. Also, I know many of my past students you may have taken my course last year, 10 years ago. If you want to do the foundation overview again, you're welcome to. It's a $195 fee, and you can register for here as well in the upcoming events area. So if you want a refresher of the foundation material and do the market scanning sessions with me again, just sign up right here, um, all, all there. All right, so there's my email address. I'm done now, but I'm going to just take a little bit um, – a little bit of questions here. I'm trying to see them. Can you recommend a broker in Canada for investor trading? So I would say, you know, the top rated ones in Canada are Quest, TD, Qtrade, um, generally get the best ratings. If you are going to be a more active trader, then I wouldn't do Qtrade because I don't think they have a software platform. So if you're going to be more of a day trader, then I think uh, TD Thinkorswim, Interactive Brokers, and um, yeah, Quest is another choice. I did a survey of my of my um, students one day in Active Live for day trading, and their top pick was Interactive Brokers, and then we had a tie for Thinkorswim and uh, Quest. Um, how long does Active Live go for an active trader? So Active Live is running every day. Uh, it starts at half or five minutes before the market opens, ends when the market closes. I do the talking in the opening half an hour and the final half an hour. And with active, with the active trader uh, purchase, you get one month of that for free. After that, it's $195 a month. You don't have to subscribe every month. You can do it. Once in a while, if you want, it's totally up to you. Uh, but you're only eligible for Active Live if you do the Active Trader course. Uh, can you get the bonus classes for free if you are upgrading? Uh, yes, you do. So if you upgrade from Investor to Active Trader, you will also get those bonus classes. You will not get, um, no, you get it. Yeah, if you upgrade from Investor to Active Trader, you'll also get a free month of Active Live. What you don't get is six months of the website access because you got that when you first bought your course. Um, so I, most of the questions I had were about pricing and I've gone over the pricing now. Again, $24.95 for the investor course, $34.95 for the active trader course, and $54.95 for the mentorship. Does Active Live work if you're not in your office? If I'm not in my office? Yeah, it's all automated. Yeah. Um, so it's not dependent upon me. I mean, I, I'm there every day doing my little talk at the start of the day and the end of the day, but it's, um, it's my computers are running all the algorithms and, and all that stuff. Uh, someone, yeah, and we have a number of people here in the US, uh, one person here recommending Tastyworks. Uh, oh, no, actually they're saying they will be in Canada for active traders by December. So I think Tastyworks is more focused on options traders. I don't know for sure, but that's my my perception. Um, so here's a question that I often get asked. Uh, it looks like TradeStation is no longer available for Canadians to sign up. So it was never available for a Canadian to have a brokerage account with TradeStation. However, you can subscribe to TradeStation. It's 99 US dollars a month to use the platform. And so all of my students that want to use TradeStation who are here in Canada, that's what they use is, uh, is the subscription. If you want to learn more about that, do a Google search for TradeStation subscription. It'll take you to the right website. If you go to TradeStation's U.S. brokerage account website, you're going to see that Canadians cannot open an account with them because Canadians cannot open an account with any U.S. broker. But if, uh, if you want to just use their platform, just Google TradeStation subscription and uh, you can do that. Uh, yeah, I do have a book. You can uh, buy it on my website. It's not available in bookstores. Uh, it's called The Mindless Investor. I wrote it in 2013. It's a good basic uh, base of knowledge about my method. Uh, another question. Do any students use TradingView as opposed to TradeStation? Yes, lots of my students use TradingView and coupled in many cases, most cases, with Active Live, Because Active Live gives you the, the action candles, Trade, TradingView won't give you the action candles. So you can watch the active live service for action candles and then use trading view charts to look for the patterns. Uh, are the bonus classes recorded for viewing later also? Yes, they are. So all of those classes that are bonus classes, if you're, 
if you're going to participate in those, um, I, I record all of them so you can watch them again as many times as you like. All right, well, I think I've gone through all the questions, so I want to thank you all for joining me today. And if you want to know more about the theories and the methods and my strategies, that sort of thing, make sure that you check out the webinar videos that I did earlier this week. And to do that, I'm just going to show you this because it's easier. Just go into YouTube. And uh, go to uh, the stock score. So search for stock scores here. And then you'll get the stock scores channel. Click on that. And all of the videos from the webinars from this past week are here. So here's how to day trade the stock market profitably. That was uh, uploaded two days ago. How to invest in the stock market was three days ago. And then we did the uh, how to find six winning stocks. The six things you must know uh, was last Saturday. I will also have my market minutes video up uh, tomorrow morning. I do this free video every week, which is a good lesson on where the markets are likely to go. And just make sure you subscribe to the channel because once you're subscribed, you'll get your alerts when I upload a new video. So to subscribe, just again, search for stock scores on YouTube and you can subscribe right there. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap it up. I hope that you have uh, enjoyed today's presentation. I hope that you've enjoyed the week of webinars that I've done. I want to thank you all for joining me. I know that it's a Saturday and your time is valuable. So get out there, enjoy the weekend. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Again, my email address, Tyler B at stockscores.com. Follow me on Twitter at stockscores. And there's the YouTube channel right there. Have a great weekend, everyone. And I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.